Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I am reviewing my Yeti 35 Tundra. This is what I use in my van in lieu of a refrigerator. Uh, it sits right next to my bed behind my passenger seat um, and it fits really snugly in, in this spot over here. I pulled it out a little bit so I can show you guys. I actually tested out a Yeti before making the purchase because as a lot of you know, a Yeti cooler is quite an investment. So um, I believe this costed me $250 or was it $300? So either way, it's expensive. Um, so like I said, I tested out a Yeti when I went camping in Idaho over the summer before I made the purchase. And I just want to show you what it looks like. So um, this is the seafoam green color. It's my favorite color of all time. I have been collecting some stickers on the front. Um, the Yeti is easy to carry because you can carry it with your hand here, or you can carry it with these um, with these handles on the side. So it has two handle options on the new models of the Yeti. So opening it up, I'm going to move it a little bit so it stays. So it stays open here because I have that thing on my passenger seat. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It comes with this basket, which is removable. Okay, so it's actually really convenient because you can leave it in and out. You can slide it and you can put fruits in there, things that you don't want sitting at the bottom of the Yeti, whatever you want to do. I have just a small ice pack in here and I put it in here so you can kind of just see a size comparison. And then this is obviously one regular can of Coke. So there is a pretty decent amount of space in here. Um, it's actually all I need for my travels. Remember, I don't live in my van full time. I travel in my van full time. So it's not an issue for me to get ice, ice packs, um, and just to keep it cold. So that's what that looks like on the inside. Now I have this additional item. So this is actually a thermometer. I bought it, I believe at Ikea, and it will tell you what the temperature is inside your Yeti. So I'll just leave that in there for a second and allow it to register. Um, and then it'll tell me what temperature my stuff is at, but like I said right now, I, I just put it in there, so it's gonna take a minute. Um, so the question that everybody asks me is, how long does your food stay cold? Well, with ice packs or ice, my food will stay cold for about four days, and that's in warm weather. So cold weather, it might last a little longer. With a small block of dry ice, my food will stay cold for about seven days. So that is the general consensus that I have come to throughout all of my travels. It's really easy to pick up ice or, um, well, yeah, just, just a bag of ice really anywhere uh, to refill your Yeti. And then it's pretty easy to drain it as well. Let me show you. On the side here, there's just this little drain. It simply screws open, or screws, uh, screws out. And the water just pours right out. There's a little reservoir in there um, that makes it really easy. So you can very easily drain the water that way. And then here's a better view of the handles. This handle, and then this handle as well. And then another view of the inside of the Yeti. I didn't want something else taking up electricity and that's why I decided to try a Yeti rather than a refrigerator. I hope this answered questions for you. Let me know if you are wanting to know anything else or if I can give you any more specific details. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time.